It's with great honor and uh, excitement that I'm here installing Engineer 775's solar system. And uh, it's going to be a battery system. It's going to have all the bells and whistles. We're just about to pour some concrete here. And uh, he's dug some serious holes. So he's got his, his trenches going. And uh, he's gone. Somebody dropped tobacco off over here. He just went to town digging his holes. Problems a few hours late, but we're getting it done today. We're going to get some uh, concrete in these swimming pools. You see the size of them holes, Johnny? Got a little carried away. Man, look at that. So it calls for about three quarters of a yard of concrete in the hole, and uh, Scott went a little bit overboard for sure, but looks great gonna work great and be uber strong there's a cell phone tower look at mr. gray special agent gray he turns into a different person when the mud comes out these boys are ready to get that mud got our solar rays up let's get a couple steps or you took a time lapse didn't you Chris is wiring up solar arrays and strings of three. The Keystone array, broken BP panel. We got our strings coming. Take you in the mech room. Show you what we got going on in there. There's Mr. Hunt right there. Dreams are shattered. No, our lugs are not big enough. Just tap on the other side of the meter and they'll never know. What I could do is I could just tap off of that, like that. Come off of that one. Like that. Can you yeah. do that? Yeah. When it has to, you just don't fit. I only need the two. So you're wiring a little bit, not afraid, are you, are you Are you? scared, or how do you feel about what just happened to you? Um, I feel that, well, we have a, solu a good solution, we just needed to uh, have our uh, grounds and neutrals bonded at the first panel, right boss? So I got blasted with, it was only 40 volts, I thought it was 240. <laughs> it's startup day here. The practical pepper solar install. Hello, folks. Joe's wiring up, or he's plumbing the battery watering kit. It took us four hours to figure out how to wire the battery last night. <laughs> Scott's doing final torque checks before we start up this Magnum or this uh, Radian. Very exciting day. It's like Christmas here at the farm. South Carolina man cuts the cord for good. Gets arrested. We're going off grid. We're not. We're grid tied. Exactly. Load side tap. Line side tap. Can I show the inner? I'm sorry. Inner inside of this box. I'm gonna step out of the way. You want a flashlight? Look at that. Keeping it. Keeping it as clean as we can. Show you the solar here. Mm -mm -mm. Got the two solar arrays built, one southeast, one southwest. Gonna get that consistent output throughout the day instead of just a lot of power and, and peak sun. And uh, man, it's Scott has a lot of transfer switches. But he's basically got his, his the, the way his house is set up. He feeds power down there, so he's got his 
ready and configured for a whole house backup. He can back up the whole house with the radian. He can put the radian through or the grid. And then that transfer switch right there, the bottom of that transfer switch is fed by this transfer switch. And the radian's feeding power here, the generator's feeding power here. We can also feed power through the generator into the generator input of the radian and charge batteries. And this is a this is where his house gets fed. So pretty complicated transfer switch setup, <clears throat> but pretty cool. So we're done with the install. I haven't had the utility come out here and change the meter yet, but we are done with all the super hard parts of the installation. We've tested everything except for the generator. Now I got my I'm pretty proud to be the be the solar guy for Scott Scott Hunt and Practical Preppers. Hey, come on now, don't be stripping it out. Stripping it out? Here, we're finally done with her. Are these the right screws? Look at that. Wow. Nice. Keep moving. Because you can't put the screws in. I have it. Got the battery in here. I didn't see that get done. So here's our our trade trademark nine this is our what is this the nine this is the 930 amp hour SBS I would use a drill totally tubular super sweet battery cables she's all watering kitted and insulated Still needs to get your vent fan in. I'm just real proud to be the guy that did, did the Thanks, power Jeremy. system for Engineer awesome 775. Job. Definitely one of the more complicated systems. I think we designed it four times. But he's got transfer switches. We can send power all the way to my house in Georgia, right? We're off grid right now. We got more levers than Vegas. <laughs> We got lever. We we got DC. We got AC disconnects. We got generator disconnects, and we got full transfer switches. We got levers that don't even go to nothing. We just switch them on and off. They do now, boss. So that's the solar. So that's your transfer switch for generator. Generator solar, or solar power. AC disconnect for the um, output of the radian. Output of the radian. The grid tie. Line you, tat. Yep. Grid tie inverter disconnect. This is to go off grid with everything because I have one meter on the property. It takes the house off, everything, shop, RV pad. This sub feeds my house. So now I can send power everywhere thanks to gain solar on my property. Just gotta be careful. I can't start the world, but I can send it everywhere. This is the whole the whole house backup style installation of the radian. But we do have one critical sub. We got critical loads. Yeah, we do have a critical load shop, panel. So we kind of covered all our bases on this thing. Grid time, critical loads, generator inputs, transfer switches, send power everywhere. The great wall of transfer switches. We scratched our heads for a while, but it's done. And we had a good electrician to help us a little too. That was nice. And it's mm. beautiful out there. Beauty beautiful. I get to see this from my house. This is probably the most undisclosed, undisclosed location there is. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. It's one of those places. If you come out here, we gotta, we gotta take you out. And you got your beautiful, the very first solar array ever installed in. No. North Georgia, North Carolina, what? South Carolina. There it is, right there. The internet. The BP. 
Oh, that was, uh, yeah, that's 14 years old. Special Agent Gray just wired you up just right. He did an awesome job as usual. Great place to have a picnic underneath. So we're nothing new here, folks. It's the same thing we always do. But it's beautiful. That's the south. That's the southeaster. That's morning. Is that internet? Is that a secret? No. Oh. Yeah, I see a lot of stuff that needs to be cut off. But. Yeah, I gotta finish that up. Little details, but we're there. One year later, we're installed. Was it was really a year? I don't think it was That's a year. 11 months. But we, 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 okay. All right. Almost a year. Thanks, boss. Thanks for throwing in the panels. Hey man, I just co I just coached. It looks good though. So, are you a happy customer of Gain I'm Solar? An extremely happy customer of Gain Solar. Let Got me tell you, we all worked the our tails needed. off. A lot of attention to detail here. This is the most complicated system, according to Johnny, that he's ever worked on, and he had no problem getting it done. So, I have no doubt in my mind he can handle any solar needs he might have. Wow, that's a pretty serious plug there. Game that on YouTube. YouTube that up. And if all else fails, we go Mad Max and run the gas supply. And we can hook that to the generator too. Hook the generator and charge batteries. Probably the only real casualty of the whole job right there. <laughs>